Hey everybody, Terrence here with Engadget, and we are at the uh, Artisans Asylum in Somerville, Massachusetts, and I'm here with Joe, uh, the creator of Hexi, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this uh, clearly multi-limbed robot he's got here. Yeah, so I, I've always been interested in robotics, uh, and in college I wanted to do you know, like multi-legged robotics. You know, it's complex, there's a lot of you know, like fun math involved, you know, depending on how much you like math. Um, and the problem is, though, is that when I looked to do hexapods online, they were, you know, between like fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars, and that was a bit beyond the you know skip a few meals for ramen range. Uh, so when I got out of college, uh, I started a hackerspace, and then I got a laser cutter. And I was like, well, now I have the opportunity to change this. So I made a two hundred dollar hexapod uh, that I'm selling online on Kickstarter right now. Uh, it should probably retail for like two fifty, three hundred or so, uh, depending on the partner. But the idea is to make uh, robotics just like vastly more accessible, uh, both in terms of you know how low cost it is, in terms of how easy it is to put together. Uh, I'm doing lots of you know tutorials on how to program it and introductory robotics stuff. It's basically a, a platform to start with. Uh, you can do whatever project you want on it. It's Arduino based, so it's easily expandable. Um, and there's full tutorials on how to do everything you want with it, uh, or at least you know get you started. Can we actually see it in action? See it uh, yeah, do a little sure. dance or something here? So. And so how is this getting controlled right now? Huh? How is this being controlled right now? So I've got an interface panel up here, um, and I just write simple moves in a text file. Uh, so I have things like, you know, turn left, turn right, you know, set foot here, set foot there. Uh, and it automatically generates all the buttons for it. So once you generate, once you write a move, it generates the button, and then you can press it. So I have a little dance move. Oh, battery's a little low. Yeah. 